Yes, yes, everyone, it's Lance Bornum and welcome to my latest boop, 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 boop video. And today I'm going to do something what I haven't done for a very long time. Namely, I'm going to do a snack and candy challenge. What are you waiting for? Let's check out what I have for you. As you probably remember from my summer vlogs, I've been to Serbia and Greece. I brought some stuff with me so that I can try it out to eat. And I got now three things what I'm going to try now. The first thing is probably well known to you, potato chips. But these are not just regular potato chips. They are these. Yeah, regular lace, but they've got the taste with oregano, or in Greek it would be rigani. They are not salty potato chips, but they have the taste of oregano, so I suggest let's open them up. They look from the inside like this, and the chip looks like this. Wanna know how it tastes like? Let's eat it. Mmm, they are tasty though. Oh yeah, they are good. And as you can see, there are 200 grams inside. And they are also made in Greece as well, so... Genuine Greek product, just the name that it is from Lays. Perfect. I showed you a snack, now I'm going to show you a sweet product. And it is something what I've so far never had in Greece. And this is a chocolate, but it's not just a chocolate, it is... Lacta. Socolata Galactos Lacta Milk Chocolate. As I can see, it is from Mondelez. They actually make also the Milka Chocolate, but I don't know how this one will be like. It's just regular milk chocolate and... I'm wondering how it will be, so let's open it up. This chocolate made actually a very long trip by car, over 2000 kilometers. It was for a very long time in the fridge, and yeah, it has this pattern and there is written also Lacta. I got here a tiny row, I'm gonna try it out how it is. It's definitely not like Milka. Milk has a, di has a different taste than Lacta indeed. This one tastes more like milk while uh, Milka is more like chocolate. But I like it. It's definitely not bad. It's indeed different from the usual chocolate what I eat. I don't know how Greek chocolate usually is, but this one is... The first one I've had usually when I go to Greece I eat Crunch, what is actually from Nestle. And... Never Lacta. I don't know why, but this is the first time I had it and actually Lacta is great, so no question, it's a really good chocolate. You had the snack, you had the sweet, you know what's best? You need to spill it down with something. That's right. I got a drink. Lux! And Orangeade, not from a big company, it's locally made in Greece. I got here a small bottle actually says it's only for 49 cents actually really cool I had in a vlog where I was in Corfu and I guess it was vlog number four I had there the lemonade version or as Greeks call it gazoza this would be actually in Greek Porto Calava um, and it was good it was definitely great but I don't know how this will be maybe it's better than Fanta or than Orangina I don't know let's try it out And how do Greeks say cheers? Yamas. Oh wow. It is definitely fruitier than... Wait, I need another sip. It's definitely fruitier than... <laughs> Sorry. It's indeed fruitier than Fanta or than Orangina. 20% Oh wait, here's the English side. 20% juice, what is it? significantly more than Fanta or any other orangeade. I had also another Greek lemonade, I don't know if you know Mble, 
it is a little bit different because it does not have sugar but it has stevia and it is a little bit different in taste but it was nowhere near as fruity as Lux and Lux is like awesome, I really like it and this one is no exception. I love the Gazosa one and, and now I think that Porto Calava is also really great. So in conclusion I can say that Greek sweets and snacks and also drinks are really good. I suggest you to try them out, go to Greece, whenever you see them, just buy them, they're not really expensive. I paid for the big place back around 1 euro 80 in Lidl, I don't know how much it was again. But there, it was definitely less than 2 euros. The Lux lemonade per bottle is like fi uh, 49 cents. And the chocolate, I don't know how much it was. I believe it was like 80, 85 cents around this. So it's actually not really that expensive. That was it from my side. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this type of video. Leave me a sub if you don't want to miss any of my future videos. It will mean to me a lot. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you have any general feedback or if you have had any of these things what I've shown here. Hmm. <clears throat> If you want a part 2 of this video, leave me 50 likes. So then I'm going to make a second edition of from it because I've got also some other stuff what I haven't shown here and are definitely waiting for you to be shown in a video of mine. I hope to see you next time and until then, andio and bye bye!